In this video I'll take a look at how we can create materials and I'll take foundation in creating a wall and understanding how materials are working and just take a quick look into how we can get the different parameters and what they are meaning to the simulation within inside Ecotect. I've now opened the conceptual environment within inside Ecotect and I want to take a look at how we can create material and take the foundation in creating a wall material. If we go here to the 3D editor and we mark out a wall, you will see that a wall or any other component within inside Ecotect has a primary and an alternating material. The reason for this is that two walls that are considered to be adjacent in the adjacency calculation will use the alternating material for making sure that this is an internal wall and not an outside wall material. So this is quite helpful so we don't have so it's a bit faster to set up the model and that the model can or the program can calculate the actual built-in relations by itself. If we then go to up here to the element library we can simply pick a wall that is quite similar to the one that we want to make Let's call this new wall tree and then set add to library. Now we created a new wall material and we can now begin to edit this wall. We can give it a description and we can edit the cost, greenhouse gas emission if we have these parameters and we can use those in, an, in the analysis process. Up here we can highlight which types of parameters we'll need for different types of analysis. For lightning analysis, we'll need solar absorption and visible transmittance. Visible transmittance is not that <laughs> common for walls, but it can we can have walls that are yeah have some kind of transmittance. Okay, so what we do will do is that we'll go to layers, and we have this great libraries with uh, different types of physical materials that we can pull in to this layer structure as is quite that is quite similar to a lot of other simulation programs and then we can just type in the actual width density heat capacity and conduction and then we can use this layer structure here to calculate the thermal properties if we want to add more layers we can simply just insert layers and we can insert new materials here so let's say just calculate thermal properties and see that it's now updating many of these parameters. It's actually only updating the U value and the thermal decrement. It's not updating thermal lag and uh, admittance, as it says. Some of these parameters are quite well known, but are working a bit differently with inside Ecotech. The U value is quite logical. Most people know this. The admittance, which is that some walls, even though they have a good U value, won't have the same ability to to uh, exchange heat with the outside. And then we have the solar absorption, which is a fraction of the color. So if we click here to edit the color, we can. It's using the RGB color scale, and the program assumes that a dark color will absorb more heat from the sun and that a light color will reflect more light or heat. So if we set the color here, you'll see that the solar absorption and the color reflection is really an equation of each other between 0 and 1. Okay. If we have the values, we don't need to go into layers. We can simply just type in the properties here. and there is this great little tool called the, the Ecomat that we can use. So if we go into layers and we get the Ecomat here, we can simply copy the material data and then when we have done this we can simply just calculate here and it will calculate the U-value admittance, thermal decrement and thermal lag. So this is just a little help tool. It's, it's uh, I don't remember the cost but it's it's reasonable. Unfortunately, it only applies for wall materials and not for window materials. So here, for window materials, I made a little uh, spreadsheet where I calculated the values and 
I didn't translate that, but in the next video I'll explain how to create a window material. So now that this is done, we can say apply changes and we can close the library and we can go here to select by element type, say walls, and we can go here to the selection and mark out new wall material tree. Say apply and we can then go to the visualize tab to see how the material are displayed on our model.